not that anyone cares, but today I am doing another Dyson video. I'm reviewing the newest Dyson that came in 2022. I know it took me a while, but here I am. This was my previous Dyson video and I loved the Dyson air wrap. I was all about it, but I had shorter hair and my hair was not as frizzy as it is now. Now my hair is longer, darker, thicker, um, but it's a bit frizzy. My hair is very dry and it tends to blow up in humidity. But now as the weather is getting cooler, I'm like trying to like use my Dyson a bit more in winters because I feel like it makes sense. Hopefully my curls will stay. Usually my curls don't last for more than four or five hours on a good day. And that's an issue with Dyson, which majority of the girls or guys have lately. And your curls won't stay, girl. I have used all of the mousse in the world. I've used all the serums. I've used all the setting sprays. But to use a hair styling product, I shouldn't be going through so many styling treatments or you know, putting so much chemical on my hair just for the curls to stay. That's my major issue with the Dyson. And it's gonna take you a really, really, really long time to style your hair. Usually when I use a Revlon blow dry brush, it takes me like around 25 minutes, which is not bad for my hair. But when I use a Dyson, it takes me two hours. I'm not gonna lie, it takes me forever. And if I have to step out and go somewhere, I would not even go near a Dyson. I would just go to my Revlon um, hairdryer brush, just what it looks like. But this actually damaged my hair a lot. Now I'm transitioning back to a Dyson because Dyson is known for um, taking good care of your hair. Like it doesn't damage your hair as much as these products would, like a straightener, a blow dry brush. The Dyson is amazing. I love the fact that it doesn't damage your hair as other products would. And that's the only reason I keep coming back to it, even though it's not worth it. But let's get into this video. Let me show you guys how I do my hair. So the first thing I'm gonna use is this Color Wow Dream Coat. I am going to soak my hair in this product. And which, if your hair dries up easily, this is great. You can just make it wet again so that the Dyson can work on your hair, which I love. The next thing I'm gonna use is this Jisoo Prep and Prime Hair Primer. I'm gonna use this much, nothing more. Rub my hands and fingers in it and just run it down my hair. Um, I feel like it doesn't weigh my hair down at all. It gets rid of my frizz as well. The next part I'm gonna use is Tresemme Heat Protectant, but you can use any brand. I don't have any on my hand right now. So I'm just gonna go for this. Just gently spray it into my hair, not too much. So now my hair prep is done. I'm going to section it and we're gonna style it. To section my hair, I feel like sectioning is so annoying. Like I just do bare minimum. Whatever I can do to start my smoothing hair process. Let me show you guys the attachment I'm using. So I'm using this smoothing brush um, attachment and I just push it in and it just locks itself in. There's a lock and lock button here. And if you turn around, this is the heat section here. And this is what turns your blow dryer on or your smoothing brush on. Speaking of blow dry, I do not use a blow dry attachment to dry or smooth my hair because my hair is frizzy. It's gonna blow up into a hot mess. So we're gonna stick with this. This is gonna tape my hair much better. And I feel like the, this Dyson gets really loud. So I'm just gonna start voicing over my video. So I start using the smoothing brush. I start from my roots and I take it to the ends. And I take my time with smoothing out my hair out because it takes a while and you can see I keep going back again and again till I'm satisfied. So I'm not impressed with it, but it does its job. It doesn't smooth it completely, but you guys can see like it's still fizzed up, but that's fine. We're gonna keep going and I'm gonna do rest of my hair. 
I'm just gonna quickly run it through my hair and show you guys. I'm gonna start smoothing this side and you can see that it's slightly smooth from the roots but it's still fuzzy from the bottom which is still fine because I plan to curl the bottom. Let's start! Okay, so now that my hair is smoothed out, it's all smooth. Let me show you guys. Like, this is how it looks. It's still very frizzy, but that should be my hair texture. This is what I don't like about Dyson. If you have the same hair texture as mine, it's gonna take you forever to do your hair. But I feel like the magic begins once I start curling it. So let's get started. Again, I section off my hair. I section off my top hair first because I wanna start with my bottom section first. I just feel like that's how you're supposed to do it. Am I wrong? I don't know, but that's just how I do it. I'm gonna take this attachment out and I'm gonna bring this longer uh, curling attachment and, oops, and put her right in and this is how she will look like. I have to take very thin sections for this to hold my each section and the way if your section is thick it's not gonna hold on to it i hold each curl for at least 60 seconds because i feel like anything lower than that just doesn't work out for my hair texture the longer i hold the longer my curls stay this is just something i've tried and tested out it actually depends on your hair texture and how fine or how thick it is but for me this just works out better okay so now that that section is done I'm not gonna use the cool air to cool the section off. I feel like that's what doesn't make your hair last a bit longer. I'm just gonna use a clip and just clip my hair, dig in there and just hold, leave the clip there so it's gonna hold the curl better. Um, I'm gonna go to the second attachment and I'm just gonna repeat for the rest of my hair. Okay, so if you don't have these clips, you can also use bobby pins to secure each curl on that many clips to hold my curl. But anyway, um, this is how I do it. I go through the, oops, that was hot. I hold it and I just pin my hair like like so, so it's like a small curl and it just sits there looking pretty and drying up and cooling down. Now I'm going to repeat it for the right and I'll be back. I'm going to use my primer again. So I have my last section left. Finally. Okay. So this is what I look like. It looks really funny right now. I have to stay like this for at least another 10 minutes. And before I open them, once my curls are cool to touch, I am going to spray hairspray. So let's start with the first one I did. I am going to pull out my pin and put it aside and do the same. It's 
stuck together now <laughs> but i'm trying so oh my god how cute do these curls look already like ah look open now i'm gonna start with my top section here she is here's my other top section and you'll see this beautiful bouncy curl so this is what my hair looks like let me show you guys a close-up as you can see it's like very very tight and i kind of like that because tighter the curl the longer it's gonna stay now i am not going to step out like this i am gently going to run my finger through and you can see my hair is like super frizzy and then i am going to open my hair up a bit flip my hair and once i run my fingers through my hair i actually like the volume right now because i know dyson curls are not gonna last that long i'm going to use Gisu's hair oil. I love this hair oil. It really makes my hair really smooth because right now my hair is really dry and feels very rough. So I use a few drops on my hand and I feel like the more I use it really doesn't weigh my hair down. I actually like how it makes my hair look. And I am going to run my fingers through with this oil. final verdict is that I do not like the Dyson. My curls are already opening. I still have the volume. I'm not complaining. I just don't like the way my hair looks right now. My, in my opinion, not worth the investment. First of all, $600 for a product is just not justified. I will not be buying another Dyson next year. It's a big no from me. Also, it takes two hours to do your hair. I'm usually already short of time. When I'm always running late, so spending that much time on hair just doesn't make sense to me. There's so many other products out there in the market that you can use. One thing about the Dyson that I love is that you don't get that much damage to your hair. Your hair actually feels healthier after you style it. But I feel like I style my hair once a week already so I can damage my hair once a week for me. That makes sense. I'm gonna be transitioning away from Dyson now. That's my opinion. Some of you may love it and may work for you. That's your opinion. I feel like you guys are so lucky if it works on your hair for me. It just doesn't work on my hair and my hair type. I, yeah, and this is it. This is my Dyson video. I hope you guys learned a little with me today, but till then, I'll be back again with another video. I make a lot of home decor, home styling videos. I also do a little bit of hair and makeup sometimes, but yeah, do subscribe if you liked today's video and stay tuned for more. I'll release a video every week and thank you for watching. Do not forget to leave your comments and suggestions down below. If you girls have any tips or any other products I should try and review, let me know. I'll be down to do that. Till then, bye guys. I'll be back.